Hello YouTube, this is Don Brandt and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to show you a frequency signal generator. This is the, we're looking here at the 555 IC timer. And the Euro was born in 1971. They came out with the any 555 8 pin dip package. Here's the uh, thing, this is the project that we're looking at. This is a kind of a pre-manufactured one. So let's open it up and take a look here. Zoom in here. Here's the 555. This is an SMD, which stands for surface mount. Uh, there's capacitor, and there's a, there's one capacitor here, there's a capacitor here, and there's a resistor here. And this is a 1 mega ohm, 10 turn, uh, 10 turn potentiometer. Uh, so this package, these are less than a buck a piece if you buy five for Amazon, and I'll put the link down below. And this is a square wave generator, and I'm going to show you what a square wave looks like. So this is a signal generator, and uh, I got five for like six bucks. And What's we'll a signal generator do, Don? A signal generator, uh, okay, so we're dealing with uh, digital uh, electronics, and a signal generator creates a square wave signal, which the high high side of the signal is five volts. And uh, Are you going to, to add a YouTube picture, or another picture to your YouTube video? I'm going to actually just draw a picture here real quick, just trying to show you what a square wave looks like. Okay, make sure you're in frame with the camera. <clears throat> okay, so AC current, alternating current that comes out of the wall, mm -hmm. is what's called a sine wave, and it looks kind of like this. Okay, and it goes up, uh, it goes over and under the main... So, the, yeah. The, yeah, there's, okay. you know, this is zero, mm -hmm. and this is the high, and this mm -hmm. is the low. And that's AC. And that's called a sine wave because the thing arches as a sine. But anyway, a square wave, it looks like this. So here's your baseline, mm -hmm. and it comes here like this, and it literally goes like this. Back up, back here, back down. But so what happens is the pulse goes up to 5 volts and then straight across for a time and then straight down to zero instead of at a curve peaks. Okay. So at a low time scale, it may look like like this, mm -hmm. you know, and we would say hertz or kilohertz or whatever. Okay. But what would happen is when you crank it up, what happens is it, it starts to look more like this. Skinnier spaces. Skinnier, yeah. The, okay. Okay, and it increases the frequency. Right, just like on the wavy one, it would be closer together at a higher frequency. Right. Okay. And so what this will do, this is creating a pulse wave, and it operates the uh, digital electronics. So uh, for our purposes, uh, this potentiometer is going to be too difficult to use because it kind of you like set it and forget it. It's just a tiny little brass screw. And uh, so what I decided to do is I unsoldered the... Here I'm showing that the 10 turn 1 mega ohm potentiometer has been desoldered and I've added three bus pins on here to get easy access to this timer. So I'm going to use a potentiometer that looks more like this where you can take and you can put a knob on it and you, it's, easily, you, it's easier to work with your fingers. And then you can put this through a project board and put the screw on it. And so then what you'll do is you'll tie these three leads to these three pins and then you'll be able to control the speed uh, of the oscillation. So let's go ahead and give you a demonstration of, of what that will look like. So for our purposes I'm going to be using, this is a 10k ohm, I'm not going to be using um, the 1 mega ohm uh, because it creates uh, too much, sl <laughs> I can't say this, but the resistance gets too high on the high end. So I've I checked a different couple pots, and the 10K ohm is the one that seems to be working best for me. Um, and then also here, I've installed a, a large aluminum handle, and I picked this up from Gateway Electronics here in St. Louis. And I mentioned them before. I'll put a link down to the comments section. Okay, so we're getting a little bit more complicated now, but uh, let me tell you what we're looking at here. We're going. To, we're uh, looking at this board right here, but um, in this case, it's flipped over. Um, instead of pins on this side, I just have the wires coming out, and the wire pinout is pretty similar, sim uh, simple on this. Uh, you've got your ground, your positive voltage, which is VCC, which it runs anywhere, I think, from 5 to 12 volts. In my case, I'm running 5 volts. Um, and then this is your signal wire out. Um, and then typically before that, you just use your potentiometer here. But again, that's been removed, and so I've got the three wires off of the potentiometer, 
and they come over here and then those three wires are hooked to these alligator clips and what I'll be doing with these alligator clips is I'll go ahead and I'll tie these uh, to the potentiometer now this is just a demonstration so these will be soldered and wired at a later date so we're gonna go ahead and put these on okay so again this may look complicated but it's not I've just got my uh, negative uh, on on this bus here and positive here and then we've got the negative tying to the negative lead the positive tying to the positive lead and here's our signal wire the white one and it goes out over to a speaker like device uh, that you will hear okay so the signal and then the signal wires also you can't over here but it's also tied to this ground bus as well that one of these wires here so there's the basically we got a uh, a ground wire coming out here on the yellow that's the ground signal and then the positive lead is this white wire and it goes over and it jumpers there but it still goes over to our device now you don't really need to worry about all of this over here because this isn't even part of the circuitry all this is doing is uh, I have an oscilloscope set up and I'm going to demonstrate the square wave so this is basically just uh, the resistance for the oscilloscope but it's not relevant to what we're doing here. We've got, our, we've got our potentiometer and that's tied over to our square wave signal generator, the 555 timer. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the square wave generator. We'll go ahead and crank the uh, potentiometer up and if you watch this green line here, uh, this is an oscilloscope app, uh, pretty cool. Uh, if people have some interest in it, uh, I can go ahead and do a video on that too here. So anyway, what you're seeing here is a demonstration of the square wave and you should be able to hear that speaker over there making the tone and the tone corresponds to the line here. And as I raise the tone, you'll see the lines get closer together. So that's increasing the square wave frequency right there, increasing the tone. So that is our frequency generator, that's just the demonstration. Um, uh, this device right here um, and then we're going to use this component along with some of the other components they'll be showing in the next few days uh, to pr produce CNC or a uh, power feed for your machine tools. Just give them a little bit more demonstration here. Doesn't look very square, does it? I might put you in my video if you have a very good question. I'm not talking about the motor though, nobody can know about that. I'm calling it a speaker. <laughs> yeah. look like mountains. What? They sort of look like mountains in Minecraft. So, what you're saying is that <laughs> the oscilloscope looks like Minecraft mountains? Yes. I'm going to agree with you. Now I need to get permission. Can I use that commentary in my video? Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> some of them have the um, little stairs, and some of them are just straight, and yeah. you can go on creative and fly up to them, or just get some blocks and just use it to climb up. Oh, like stairs on a Minecraft mountain. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks for sharing. But that's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So you can make that smaller or larger. Thank you very much for watching this segment on the CNC or linear drive feed. If you like these videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Um, well, okay, it's black. And uh, war installation guide, warranty statement navigator and manual software CD and it's glued into the bottom of the package I guess. And plug that in here and Larry I'm working sir. Okay every time I turn really every time I turn the camera on Larry wants to get in the camera. Let's do it again to make it look like a pro, right?